Um, first of all, uh, I want to acknowledge everyone who's been impacted by wildfires. It is, as you can imagine, very stressful, whether you are living with smoke, on evacuation alert, or on evacuation order, or concerned, understandably, about family and friends who may have been impacted. I also want to uh, join with Minister Ma and uh, also acknowledge the terrible loss in Jasper. The images from Jasper are heartbreaking, and I want to thank all the crews and emergency responders who work day and night to save homes and businesses. BC communities were able to send fire engines and crews from the towns of Valemont, McBride, Beaverly, and Quinnell to help protect buildings in the Jasper Township, which uh, is still encircled by fire. Uh, I want to thank those fire departments who answered the call and immediately mobilized to support our neighbours. Helping one another where and when we can is what we do as British Columbians and as Canadians. The BC Wildfire Service and our other emergency responders are working hard to preserve and protect homes, livelihoods and communities. I want to thank all those fighting wildfires and, re and recognize their tremendous work. As of this morning, there are 349 wildfires burning across British Columbia. Six are what are called wildfires of note, including three in the southeast corner of our province. Many parts of the province are experiencing cool and even wet weather, helping BC crews make headway in knocking down some of these fires. Over the last seven days, 286 fires have been called out, uh, 44 fires in the last 24 hours alone. But hot weather will return this summer, uh, and fires continue to impact many areas of British Columbia, particularly the southeast. In the Slocan fire complex, the BC Wildfire Service has deployed heavy equipment, helicopters, air tankers, uh, structure protection, and hundreds of personnel. This includes more than a hundred structural firefighters, municipal firefighters, deployed in coordination with the BC Wildfire Service, working right now to protect homes and properties. Across the province, we have approximately 1,500 personnel directly engaged in wildfire response efforts. They are joined by hundreds of municipal fire departments assisting with structural protection and defence. International personnel in place from Australia, New Zealand and Alaska, as well as crews from Ontario and the Yukon. In addition to crews, we have received firefighting equipment from Alberta, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Quebec, the Northwest Territories and the United States. We're naturally very grateful for their support as we work to keep people and communities safe. As we approach August and September, often the most active time for wildfires, we're continuing to put into action task force recommendations to help protect people. That was the Premier's task force that was struck uh, last October and reported out uh, with rec actionable recommendations that we have indeed implemented this season. We have secured more contracts for helicopters, planes and equipment early in the season. Already, over 304 water tanker missions have been flown this year. We're using more of the latest technology that helps predict how wildfires behave, allowing our crews to respond faster where it matters most. For example, this past weekend, the BC Wildfire Service used new technology to complete over 50 wildfire growth models to support crews on the ground. Uh, when you can predict um, reliably the direction of a fire, obviously that helps you in uh, fighting it. And we strengthen the partnerships and the work we're doing together with communities. We've seen and supported community involvement this year throughout British Columbia. In areas like the Venables Valley near uh, Ashcroft and the town of Argenta, for example, people are getting involved and in working with the BC Wildfire Service to help protect their own communities. At this point in the year, it's, uh, it's important that we continue to remain aware that we do our part to prevent human-caused wildfires by enjoying our province safely. Open burning is prohibited across the province. Uh, as a result of cooler conditions and rain across the Prince George and the Northwest, 
those two fire centers have de decided that the campfire ban for those regions will be rescinded, that is, taken off, starting Thursday at noon. If conditions change, campfire bans will be put back in place in these regions. Campfires remain banned in all other regions of the province. Cliff Chapman, who's uh, with us online today, can speak more about the details should you wish to ask questions. While the cooler weather and rain has given us an advantage in many parts of the province, we remind people to stay prepared. And uh, once again, I want to mention the Fire Smart program. Make sure that your homes and communities are following those uh, guidelines. I'm urging everyone to continue to report wildfires using the Wildfire app or by calling star 5555 from a cell phone. Even if you believe the wildfire has already been reported, please do not hesitate to contact us. The information you provide may be critical to BC Wildfire Service operations. Uh, we're also asking recreational boaters to please keep away from areas where wildfire uh, aviation crews are operating. This also applies to any non-fighting aircraft. Please keep the airspace clear of, around wildfires. This includes private planes, increasingly drones, and recreational air sports. Drones are a significant hazard to our air crews who are fighting fires, and it is illegal to fly them in fire areas. Let me just conclude by saying our hearts are with the com people, communities, and First Nations impacted by wildfire in recent weeks. We are doing everything we can and putting in place resources to ensure people in British Columbia are kept safe. I want to thank everyone in British Columbia and all British Columbians who remain diligent and aware in the midst of a very challenging wildfire situation. And I also thank the firefighters, the first responders, and the emergency management crews who are working hard to protect our province from what is becoming another challenging wildfire season.